Right. Roman's leaving today, isn't he? Why don't you give him a call? It was just a fling. The sooner I move on, the better. Oh, then why the sad face? It still hurts. Oh, it still hurts. Oh, it still hurts. Oh, my little baby boy. Oh, I love you. Oh, yes. yes. Jamie. Jamie. Jamie, I know I rejected you, and I'm sorry I did that. I always knew this had to end, but but does it really? This probably isn't the best place. But pushing you away felt easier than saying goodbye, but I don't want to say goodbye. I loved the time we spent together. If I was staying, I would be so excited about where this could go. So I thought maybe it could go to Australia. I want you to come with me. What do you say? Have I totally misread things here? No, I'm not saying that. It's just, it's just a bit of a shock. I've realised how much I like you. Yeah, and I've had an amazing time. Can you not delay your trip for a few weeks, months even? No, my coach to the airport leaves this evening. Tickets booked. I have a job waiting. They are sponsoring my immigration. And this is my chance to finally live the life I've always wanted, always dreamed of. And I want you to be a part of that. Jamie, you're not on a break. OK. OK. What time are you leaving? Can I come and see you after work? I, I don't want things to end like this. OK, got it. I shouldn't have come here. It's a stupid idea. No, I wasn't saying that. It's a holiday romance. That's all this was. No. Jamie? I appreciate that people have lives, and sometimes that takes priority. But if you're on shift... Yeah, I've, I've got it, Charlie. Uh, the fact that you're still here means you said no, right? He was so upset, but it, it caught me off guard. It's, it's not like I definitely said no. But surely you are still saying no. Well, I don't know. He's gone now, hasn't he? You can't throw everything away. It'd be crazy. I know. I've never felt like this before with it. Hang on. Ten minutes ago, he was out of your life and you were moving on. I know it's sad and hard, but breakups are supposed to be. Maybe I should go after him. No. That'd make things much, much harder. You can't move to Australia. Your whole life's here. I'm, I, I get the part of you's tempted, but you've got to listen to your head on this one, not your heart. Your first thing to think was right. Throw yourself into work and then we'll get all sentimental over a bottle of wine and a curry tonight, OK? Yeah, you're right. Have you heard from Robin? Yes, he texted me. Saying? Saying he wants to see me and I'm his everything. His English still needs work. If ever you needed a reminder that life is short. Oh, what a worthwhile job I'm doing here. Yawn. Nice pyjamas, by the way. At least I don't smell of vomit. <laughs> what happened? You've got blood on your hand. What, my lip? It's nothing. Right, come here. Ramen's been calling. To say what? Well, I don't know. He, he left a message, but I, I can't listen to it. Hold still. Will you listen to it? No, it might be full of private stuff. No, please, just do it. being stupid, that I was still drunk. But I can't tell you that. Because although it's only been a few weeks, I think I could really fall in love with you. What did he say? You have to go after him. Really? Scares me. Um, okay. I've never done anything like this before. But I've been online and I've stuck a ticket on my credit card. I've hardly got enough stuff. I'm sorry, I had this whole romantic speech planned. You're coming. Well, if the office still open. <laughs> of course. Money 
for your coach ticket. <laughs> now go on. I don't know what to say, Rob. That you'll email me loads. You'll never forget me and you will never, ever replace me as your best friend. How can I do that? <laughs> All aboard. Jamie. Good one. 